Hey, my thyroid community. It's been a long time since I've been with you guys. Um, life just got in the way and I am so sorry about that. Uh, I'm rebooting my channel this coming month in May. Or, ah, I fucked up. Hey, community. I am... I want to apologize for, ah, fuck. Hey, community. I have been absent for a very long time. I am apologize profusely for that. Life got in the way and a whole bunch of other things and my channel just kind of fell to the wayside. So... I am reinvigorating my channel, re-energizing it, re-resurrecting it. So, um, to let you know what has been going on since the last time I posted, um, I have lost a total of 40 almost 45 pounds. Um, I'm very happy about that. And I think you can tell that I've lost weight. So, um, I'm, I'm really stoked. I'm happy about that. Uh, as you can tell, the shirt was really, really baggy on me. I mean, not really, uh, this shirt was tight. I should say it was tight on me when I got it from my friend last year. Um, I've gone down from a 38 triple D in bras to a 38 D, so I've lost three cup size, almost three cup sizes. Um, I need to get new short, uh, new shorts, new capris, new jeans, maybe new underwear. Um, so that's, uh, that happened. Um, so yay, go me. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I started a Discord server, uh, which is appropriately named My Hypothyroidism Journey. Um, I have a Patreon. still have my Patreon. I got my first patron uh, last week or so. Um, a guy by the name of Independent Left News. So, shout out to Independent Left News for becoming a patron. A um, little bit about my Discord channel, server I mean. Uh, my greeting reads as follows. Welcome to my journey with the thyroid condition hypothyroidism. I began the journey to earnestly work off managing this condition. To earnestly work at managing this condition about two years ago when I stepped on the scale and saw the number 185 pounds. It was the heaviest I had ever weighed in my life and I knew it was time for a change. I hope that through what I have learned and continue to learn I can help others with their journey in dealing with hypothyroidism and general thyroid health no matter where they are at with this condition. And um, a little bit about my Patreon that I have set up is um, I have uh, three, four, I have four levels on my Patreon to choose from. Um, I have a shout out club, which is $5 a month. Uh, it allows you to be part of my monthly shout out on my YouTube channel for $10 a month. You get to be part of my banner club. You get a banner on my YouTube videos for $15 a month. You get to be, uh, you get a personalized newsletter from me. Um, and that's just for Patreon patrons only. So a patrons only newsletter. And then for $20 a month, you get a monthly shout-out on my channel, a banner on my videos, 
and a monthly newsletter to see what I'm up to. So, and then um, my patron, Independent Left News Media, has in his channel, I mean in his server, he has a mutual aid thread where you can post anything that um, any mutual aid or any your Venmo, PayPal, um, let's see what else. Um, give me a minute to scroll. Okay, so he announced it today. Another new channel, everyone. This is an important one. It's a mutual aid thread. You can post the Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or other online payment method to help someone in need, whether that's you or someone you know who needs a little help. Sometimes people are looking to help but aren't sure where to start. This was inspired by both Savage Joy Marie Mann and Lee Camp and Eleanor Goldfield, who do live streams every Sunday night to raise money for mutual aid. Let's use this space to help each other. So if you go to, if you're in Discord and um, you can find his, uh, I cannot find his invite link. Oh, it says invite numbers, okay. I don't want that. Okay, so if you want to join his server and take part in his mutual aid thread, you can go to https colon slash slash discord dot gg slash small g capital Y small n capital S nine small j six four sorry i had a bad habit and then you can be uh you can take part in his mutual aid thread so i thought that was really cool um so one of the things that i've done since um, I left you guys last, is I totally cut out soy. And that helped a lot. Um, I had been doing research, and um, now, usually when you see something, you're like, oh, I don't know that I should really do that. I don't know if I really believe in that. But, um, I decided to just try it and see what happened. And I looked in ev I look at everything now. I read labels. Um, and if it has soy, soybean oil, or soy lecithin, I don't buy it. Um, at least I don't buy it for me to prepare food with. So, or if it's processed food that has it in it, I won't buy it. Um, the other thing that I've done is I eat a lot more fruit and a lot more vegetables. I'm eating a lot more vegetables than I used to. Um, I still eat lean cuts of meat. I am still sticking with, um, I buy a lot of Laura's ground beef. Uh, it's in the meat section in most of your grocery stores. It's a, uh, or I think it's organic grass-fed beef, um, which is better for you anyway. Excuse me. Um, and it's, depending on what's in stock, um, I either get the 93.7 
or the 94 6 uh, ratio. That's uh, 94 or 93% meat and either 4 or 3% fat content. Um, the other thing I've been doing is I watch my sugars in things like pasta sauce, the canned vegetables, uh, canned fruit. I don't do canned fruit. Um, I do regular just plain fruit. Um, bananas, uh, apples, um, what else? I still haven't given this up, and I know people tell me that I should give this up, but, um, I've already given up a lot, so I gave up chocolate. Chocolate has soy lecithin in it, and, um, it also has, uh, is also made with soybean oil. Some chocolate is. So, I gave up chocolate. Um... What else have I given up? Um, I have given up chocolate ice cream. Uh, anything, any ice cream that has chocolate in it, chocolate chip cookie dough. I know the whore, I loved chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, but once I saw it was it had soy lecithin in it or any kind of soy in it. I was like, no. Um, I either eat now uh, cherry ice cream or strawberry ice cream or just any ice cream that just has fruit in it. Uh, so that's been a, a significant change. Um, I need to drink a lot more water. I know that. But I have a special pitcher for it. Um, I'm not going to make any excuses. But um, that is what it is. Um, I snack on healthier stuff now. Uh, I uh, just, I've just reached, I've just changed a lot in how I do things. And I feel a lot better. I have a lot more energy. Um, I still sleep in at least until 11.30 in the morning. I have to. I, I, there's just no way getting around that weird energy wall that I would need. I inevitably hit at 10 o'clock in the morning if I get up before 10 o'clock in the morning. So I stay away from that. Uh, by sleeping until 11 o'clock, 11.30. Um, I am being very religious about making sure that I take my medicine and then wait an hour after I take it to eat. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I've just made a lot of changes and uh, working on consistency. I made myself uh, go to bed at a certain time every night, the same time every night, and get up around the same time every day. Uh, having that routine, that schedule, has helped out a lot. And I really try not to stress. <laughs> about things as much as I used to. I, I mean, I still do, but I try, try to manage my stress better. Um, I'm not 100% there yet, but I'm getting there. And that's it. Um, it it's, uh, I'm still on my journey. My journey is not done. My journey will never be done with this. I will be on this journey from now until I die. And hopefully, if I do my journey, or I shouldn't say if I do my journey, right? Uh, hopefully, if 
I continue my journey the way that I have, then I will live a very long life with this condition and I and I hope to do that. And I'm getting a phone call, so I'm going to pause for just a second and let that call cycle through. Okay, thank you. And so, yeah. Well, I just wanted to say again that I, um, I apologize profusely for starting my channel, getting it built up a little bit to where I had it built up, and then just totally forgetting about it for as long as I did. Uh, it was not intentional. It just happened. But I am back and you can look forward to a lot more stuff from me i have a lot of awesome things planned for my channel and again i want to give independent left news a shout out for being a patron and you can look him up on twitter he is on Facebook. He is in Discord. Um, he, I will put all the links to all of his stuff below this video. And also his patron. Uh, and, um, you know, he's a, he's a good dude. So, um, with that... I am going to wrap this video up. I'm going to also put all of the links where you can find me below this video. And don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notifications. Notifications all. And I will see you in the next video.